All right, for today's video, we have a very simple problem statement. We want to extract the execution statistics of a given query. In other words, the query has already executed and now we want to read out the information related to the execution of the query. Things like CPU cost, IO cost, etc. We know that this information is recorded by SQL Server. All we have to do is write a script to extract that information. I'm going to start with a blank canvas, no ready scripts, nothing. And we are going to do this from scratch. And when we do this from scratch, this will also give you a sense of how you are formulating such queries or such scripts. So let's get started. This is going to be a very simple demonstration. So the query here is, let's say we write a simple select statement, select star from, and we take, we pick up a table, let's say sales order header. Let's go and execute this. When you execute the query, you get the output as expected. Fair enough. Now, which DMV has the information about query statistics or the execution statistics? The name of the DMV is sys.dm underscore exec underscore query underscore stats. That is the DMV. Let's go and execute this DMV now. And DMV stands for dynamic management view and has a lot of information. So if you see, and if you keep scrolling right, you will see tons and tons of metadata. So very overwhelming. If you look at the output here, not everything might be important, but when you look at the first few set of attributes, they really are very meaningful. For example, the execution count, total worker time, last worker time, min worker time, etc. These are all stats related to CPU. Then you have stats related to IO. For example, physical reads, logical reads, physical writes, logical writes, so on and so forth. Now, what we want to do is we want to find out so, you know, the so-called CPU cost and IO related cost for this select statement that we executed. Now, if you do a simple select star from this DMV dim exec query stats, you are essentially getting output uh, from the entire engine, right? So I'm kind of just, I've just started the D, you know, the, the VM right now. And if you see, I, we just have 51 records. Probably if you just simply do a select star on your production box or, or don't do this on production box. What I mean is on your test or dev machine, you would probably see hundreds of records, hundreds and hundreds of records. So now I want to drill down or isolate and figure out which record out of these belong to uh, our select statement here, which we had just executed. So here, if you see each record represents a query that has been executed since the time this VM or this uh, engine SQL instance has started since that time. Now we want to figure out which one is for our query. So the, the key here is the key attribute that is going to help us is the SQL handle here. So every query that is sent to SQL server internally for SQL engine has a SQL handle, which you can see here and also has something what we call as the plan handle. Now in this video, in this demo, we are not dealing with plan handle. What is important for us is the SQL handle. Now, Think about SQL handle as an internal signature, which uniquely identifies each query inside the engine. Now, what we need to do is we have to take this handle and basically we are trying to identify which is the handle for our query. So we got to depend on another DMV for this purpose. So that DMV is, let's say, select star from sys.dm underscore exec underscore uh, query underscore text. Now, this is actually not a DMV. This is not a dynamic management view. Instead, in fact, this is a DMF, dynamic management function. And um, that, that's just a bit of categorization. Sometimes we collectively call all of these as views, but technically speaking, this is a function because this takes a parameter. So if I just put an open bracket here, so you will see, okay, what happened there? I can't see, okay, there's this text. Uh, says DM under, okay, exec. No, this is not query text. Okay, sorry. So this is SQL text. There I stand corrected. Sys DM exec SQL text. So this is the one. And if I open braces here, you will see it takes 
this handle at the rate handle as uh, parameter. So this will take one parameter. So this is the DMF, uh, sysdm exec SQL text. Now if I just randomly, only for the purpose of demo, I take this one particular query, uh, sorry, the handle from here and paste it here and close the braces and let's go and execute just to show you the output. What you are getting is the text for this particular handle. Now, of course, uh, what we are trying to do is we can't keep checking which handle is for our query. So we can't keep supplying handle one after the other, right? There has to be a mechanism where we can actually join the query stats DMV with this DMF. And this is where a very powerful clause will come into use, which is cross apply. So what we are going to do is we are going to join cross applies in a way joining the output of this DMV and supplying the handle from this DMV to the DMF. So what I'm going to do is if when we, you know, we are formulating. So if you see, first we checked out this, then I just showed you the application of this DMF uh, and it takes this handle as the parameter. And of course, practically, we just can't keep punching in more and more parameters to find out which handle is for our query. We got to check this uh, automatically or in a script in, in some kind of a looping mechanism. So what I am going to do is uh, join the DMV with the DMF. So cross apply, let's get rid of this so that we are syntactically correct. Now we are getting closer. So sysdm exec query stats, cross apply sysdm exec SQL text, and we want the handle. So let's go and remove this. So what do we put in the braces? So first, now that we have these two uh, objects, so-called system objects, let's give some alias to them. Let's call this as uh, EQS. This is execution query set. So let's call as E, okay, there you go, EQS. And let's call this fellow as um, EST, okay, just as alias there. And now what we can do is we can supply the handle here. So we can say EQS dot um, SQL handle. That's the one, right? So we can take SQL handle there. Okay, what are we trying to do? Let's see once more. So cross apply uh, as, a, as a clause here, what it's doing is, is we are applying this function, sysdm exec SQL text, we are applying this function to every record from dim exec query stats. This is what cross application would mean here. So when, and when we are applying the function to every record from sysdm exec query stats, the application of the function, the parameter that it takes is SQL handle. So whatever the function is doing will do. And how are we joining them? We are joining them by the virtue of SQL handle. Just like when you join two tables, you have a joining, uh, let's say, a joining key, joining column. That's exactly how we are applying this function to the DMV by utilizing this attribute SQL handle. Okay, we are all good. Now, when you do something like this, you will get the output. This is technically correct query. Let's go and execute this and it's just going to give you everything out there. Okay, let's do this. So what we can do now is EST is the alias. Let's give EST uh, dot and uh, uh, we can take this um, attribute called text uh, comma and then we can say, so we are extracting the text, which is the query text. Uh, as the first column and then we can say eqs dot star and then rest of the columns for from the actual DMV which will give us the query statistics. Let's go and execute this now and there you go. So you can see the text attribute here. So this is these are the details of all the queries that have run in, in the system uh, for some time now. And you can see all the query text and if you scroll down somewhere you would get our query which is select star from where it is select star from sales order header so let's just scroll up a bit and you might oh there you go so on row number 39 you can see select star from sales order header this is what we want now of course you can't scroll and figure out where is your query so what you can do is now you know the idea right there you can go up put a where clause so we can say where est dot text and we can say like because we don't want to use equal to there we can just put a pattern that we are searching on 
and we can say, okay, I'm searching on, let's say, sales dot sales order header. This is what we are searching on. Query that contains, or the text that contains this phrase. So let's go and execute this. There you go. Now, this select start from sales uh, dot sales order header is the query that we ran and we get the SQL handle and of course rest of the attributes as we expected. And now instead of equals dot star, of course you may only focus on the columns that you want like the CPU columns and the IO columns. You might get rid of other noise from here. Now there is a small uh, issue here. The issue is we ran this for the first time and things look really good. Okay, and now I'm getting this query and I'm getting all the uh, stats that I need. But let's go and execute this once more. Okay, let's do that. Now, when you execute this a second time, what are you getting? You, of course, get the query that you were looking for, but you also get this query itself, the one that you have executed. This is also a query for the system, right? And you're getting the execution stats for this query also. And it works because, and why this comes up in the result set is because this also contains this phrase sales dot sales order header. So you have your own script having this phrase and the actual query. So both of them are showing up. Now you want to get rid of this second item. So of course you can put a where clause and you can say EST text, um, something like and you can say not like and you may just get you may put anything like you know just for the sake of the demo here i put like this should not contain um uh, this dmv right uh, to just kind of exclude this second record let's go and execute this now and now you will only get the item that you want Okay, so this is how you could just write and formulate queries, work with multiple DMVs and DMFs and extract information from inside SQL Server engine uh, and be a better performance tuner and and lot of metadata, lot of statistics that you can play around with, uh, very informative, very overwhelming. One of the best practices, and this is like a pro tip, which you should uh, remember, is just focus on what you need because the information out there, if you put all these DMVs and DMFs together, the information that you can extract is overwhelming and you might just get lost. There's so much noise out there. So just extract the info that you need and hopefully that will help you in solving query performance issues. Hope you like the demo. Happy SQL. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, master classes, lab kits, eBooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.